Let's talk about California, the state that people either love or hate. California, known as the Golden State, has sunny beaches, flashy Hollywood stars, and the tech geniuses in Silicon Valley who are pretty much running everything these days. But there are plenty of reasons why some people might say, I hate California. This wasn't always the case. For over 150 years, everyone wanted to be in California. They wanted to strike it rich and enjoy the lifestyle. But over the last five or 10 years, things have changed. Every state has its positives and negatives, but for many people, the negatives in California have started to outweigh the positives. In this video, we'll dive into the major reasons why the Golden State might feel more like a tarnished state for some of you. Got it? Good. Let's begin. California's overall air quality is average, but Los Angeles's poor air gives the state a bad reputation. In LA, air pollution can obscure the skyline, varying dramatically from clear to smoggy. Many visitors to California notice the poor air quality, especially since LA, a massive city with numerous residents and tourists, significantly contributes to this perception. While cars are often blamed, a recent study shows that the leading source of particulate pollution in LA is cooking, both from homes and restaurants. Other major sources include residential heating and road dust. Despite LA's poor air quality, ranked fourth worst in the nation, other California cities like San Diego and San Francisco rank much better at 25th and 17th, respectively. California is often criticized due to its crime rates, particularly in cities like Compton, South Central Los Angeles, Oakland, Stockton, and Fresno. While Compton's crime rate isn't as high as in the 90s, crime remains a significant issue. For example, a botched bakery robbery in Los Angeles involved a clumsy thief tripping over trash and getting tangled in a donut display, only to be thwarted by an elderly woman with a pipe wrench. Crime has increased post-pandemic, with violent crime prevalent in larger cities like Oakland and Stockton, and property crime especially high in the San Fernando Valley. People dislike California due to its high energy costs. The average residential electricity rate in California is around 30 cents per kilowatt hour, much higher than the national average of 18 cents, making it the second most expensive state for electricity after Hawaii. This forces residents to adopt measures like installing solar panels and windmills, using weak air conditioners, and layering up in winter to save on energy bills. Some residents even made money by selling excess solar energy back to the grid. However, power companies, facing profit issues, lobbied for a flat fee, now proposed at $24 per month, that residents must pay regardless of their solar panel usage or electricity consumption. People hate California because of the wildfires. These fires don't just affect local air quality. They spread smoke across multiple states. A train ride from Oregon to Los Angeles can show the sky filled with orange smoke, impacting areas as far as Colorado, Utah, and Nevada. Wildfires, which turn scenic vistas into smoking wastelands, occur so frequently that residents might consider wearing gas masks during fire season. On average, California sees about 7,000 to 8,000 wildfires each year, with some being small and others massive. For example, in 2023, there were 7,000 wildfires that burned nearly 325,000 acres. Factors like weather, vegetation dryness, and human activity contribute to the frequency and intensity of these fires. California is frequently criticized for its notorious traffic jams, which tests patience like trying to teach a cat to fetch. Having grown up in Southern California, I remember driving the 405 freeway during rush hour, which moves at a sloth-like pace. Sitting in traffic for over an hour at five miles per hour makes you question your life choices. California's traffic is more than just a commute. It's a journey into absurdity where time and sanity blur. Los Angeles ranks among the worst cities globally for traffic congestion, with drivers spending an average of 119 hours per year stuck in traffic. The San Francisco Bay Area isn't much better, with drivers spending about 97 hours per year in congestion. California's homeless crisis is like a relative who crashes on your couch indefinitely, consuming all your resources. Tent cities are popping up everywhere, making it seem like the state is hosting an endless campout. Google Maps even accounts for homeless camps when giving directions. Once, the American dream was to own a home. Now, people just hope to avoid Skid Row. As of 2024, California has the highest homeless population in the U.S., with approximately 171,000 homeless individuals, representing about 27.9% of the national homeless population. This issue dominates discussions about California politics. California's housing prices are notoriously high, often joked about in late-night comedy routines. Affording a one-bedroom shack in San Francisco might cost you your soul, firstborn, and a kidney. Want a backyard? Better start playing the lottery. In Los Angeles, a fixer-upper means four walls and a dream. As of April 2024, the median home price in California is around $852,000, an 11% increase from last year. The San Francisco Bay Area is the most expensive, 
with a median price of $1.4 million. The Central Valley is more reasonable at $493,000, while the Los Angeles metro area is $840,000, a 133% increase from last year. Up north near the Oregon border, the average is about $364,000. If you have a heart condition, don't look for homes in California. You can mention in the comment section if I missed any major reason. Please do like and subscribe to our channel.